tape from our beautiful studios in downtown Darden Prairie, Missouri. You need a reality check. And so here he is, your pastor and mine, Pastor Mike Shriner. Hey, everybody. It is so great to be together. <laughs> whoa, Welcome whoa, back whoa. to... Hang on there, Bunky. Looks like, what do you got there? What's that stick for? It's a yardstick, man. It's yeah. a three-footer. Uh, I just kind of double it. And uh, become yeah, six I get feet. it. Th three times two. You, Einstein, slow down with the math, would you? <laughs> Come on now. Keep up you, with me. I'm seeing it. Yeah, I get it. So you got a yardstick. That's three feet. I knew that. I went to Hayeswood Central, straight C student. Yep. But you double it, and it's six feet, and that's what they're telling us we're supposed Social to. Social distancing, I right? see. I and, see. And I actually went out and got me a, a one by six, but it was a little heavy, a little clumsy, a little awkward. And right. And quite honestly, my gym's closed these days, and I'm losing a little muscle mass. So you really uh, I miss that gym, was, don't you? Well, I miss yeah. the gym. Yeah, I get <laughs> that right. in every time I can. So oh, this, right. is, you, this is work, working you, well. You know who could really use that yardstick right now? Who's that? Parents. You're not like uh, <laughs> suggesting the corporal punishment, are you? Well, I, I no, 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 no. I understand no, it, but not. I don't. No, no, what? that's not. What, but, but you know, they got to be on their last nerve. They've, those kids have been underfoot for days now, and uh, they need a little distance. Well, six feet. They it, probably well, need more. like a tape measure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twenty-five <laughs> yards, right? Stand out there. I'll tell you when you're far enough away. So uh, <laughs> that brings to mind tonight's guest, uh, who is right now an even bigger commodity than she always already right. is. That's our very own children's director. So listen, Morningstar, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the one, the only, Laura Sliger. Yay, there she is. Hey, come uh, in, hey, come in. Kind of, kind of, kind of <laughs> Sit right make here. Sure you're like over there, <laughs> far edge there. Seriously, yeah. Laura, thanks. It's great to uh, great to have you. Before we get into kids' ministry stuff, just a quick question about your family. How are you guys doing? Yeah, um, thanks for asking. We are doing okay. Uh, we are trying to get used to our new temporary normal. Right. Um, kind of sticking with our daily routines, you know, finding comfort in those. And um, we are doing what we like to share on the weekends with our kids, which is to keep our eyes on Jesus. And we know that everything's going to be okay. We've also been enjoying um, seeing on our Kids Ministry Facebook page what yeah. all our families are doing. That's cool we've stuff. Got, um, we've got kids that are learning to ride two-wheeler bikes. Um, we've seen families that are out there um, playing games together. We've seen older siblings helping their younger siblings do um, their homeschooling. Um, just lots of fun stuff. Life is, is still going on, it right? Sure and is. and the, the value of being able to connect on that Facebook page, mm -hmm. uh, our own Facebook page for kids ministry. But we're also doing uh, other things here, uh, resourcing folks through our website, uh, through the Monday night. Tell us a little bit about what you and the team are doing for parents and kiddos. Yeah, um, we're having a great time making videos with um, Professor Posh from last year's Vacation Love Bible School. Yeah, yeah he's, he is a lot of fun. Crazy guy, but we're having a lot of fun with that. Um, we're also resourcing parents with um, lessons that they can do right in their own homes. Um, they can access those through our Morning Star Kids Facebook page or last week we sent out um, a, an email to all of our families that includes that link in it. Very cool. um, we are also offering a few other resources, you know, just ideas on the Facebook page. Right. And um, we are also hoping that our families take uh, advantage of Right Now Media. Yeah, tremendous resource that we've had for a couple years. And if you're unaware of it, it is like the Netflix for Christian churches. And we have a subscription. We make it available for free for anyone who attends here. Tell us a little bit more about it, specifically how parents and kids can can utilize it. Right. Um, like you said, it's kind of like Netflix. Um, it has an offering of all kinds of different shows and movies for kids of all ages. And if you don't have a subscription, you can reach out to Julie Meyer here on staff, or um, actually you can reach out to me or anybody yeah. here and we can get you um, definitely hooked up with that. Perfect. Now, uh, eventually, 
we're going to get through this. On the other side uh, of, of kind of back to normalcy, the campus is open. We've got some big things planned for kids and families. Tell us about some we of those. We do, yeah. Um, we're really hoping to be back by Memorial Day weekend. We have um, a pandemonium planned, um, so that will be a lot of fun. Um, and then right after that, we have... VBX in July. X experience, yep. Vacation yep. Bible yep. Experience. Experience. Yep. We're changing it up this year, making it a little bit different. So that's exciting. Pandemonium. And then um, we have Alligator Creek uh, right. in right. August. Keith and I cannot wait. We actually got matching swimsuits last year yeah. and we're, a, we're not able to attend. So we're, we're, uh, we're excited about being able to show those off this year. Okay, well, we'll be looking forward to that, I think. Absolutely. Um, and then we have another pandemonium um, Labor Day weekend, and we might have one more family event in the fall. Very good. Well, I, it shows that uh, you are still staying incredibly busy. Thanks for all that you and your team, your volunteers and leaders have done to uh, resource Part of our vision is about resourcing folks, right? Right. Resourcing mm -hmm. families to stay strong during this crisis. And hey, uh, Miss Laura's advice was great advice to all of us, kids of all ages. Let's keep our eyes focused on Jesus. And listen, kids, I know that many of you are up because you don't have school tomorrow. You don't have, you know, the early bedtime that maybe you did. Maybe you're watching this. And let me encourage you tomorrow to find a way that you can do something so nice for your mom and dad, something that you can do to help out around the house that they've not even asked you about. Surprise them, bless them in amazing ways. You know, God tells us to honor our father and our mother. And one of the ways that you can do that is do something unexpectedly kind for them this week. And hey, thanks to all of you for tuning in. Next week, you won't, won't want to miss as I'm joined by my special guest. I don't know who yet, but it'll be great. And I'll see you then.